Hello and welcome to a measurement video on the area of a square and the area of a rectangle. Now these will involve formulas so anytime we have formulas for our solutions we uh, should follow the following steps to make the make it much easier for to solve the problems. So we should on line 1 put the formula on line 2 we should look to substitute all the numbers into the formula from the question itself should calculate our answer and we should be careful to check our units to make sure we get the right units for that particular type of question. And as far as the units go, our length has normal units such as centimeters or millimeters. Our perimeter does too because perimeter is just adding up all the length so there's normal units involved in that. So that might be kilometers or whatever. But when we get to area, area questions, we'll be using square units, so millimeters squared or centimeters squared and the like. And with volume, we'll be looking to use cubic units, such as meters cubed. Okay, so that's what we're expecting to, uh, to apply to these problems. Okay, so the area of a square now, a square, as you know, has all four sides the same length. So we really only need information about one of the sides. So there's a side there, and so the area will be that side squared. Now if we used S as a symbol for the side, we could say it in a shorter form. Uh, area A equals side squared, or S squared. So A equals S squared will be like our formula to find the area of a square. If we had a number on any of the sides, they'd be the same all the way around. So all we've got to do is put that uh, side length there and square it. So the area equals 36. Now, as far as the units go, we had centimeters for our length of the side. So our units for area are square units. So instead of centimeters, we're going to have centimeters squared for our units. Okay, the area of a rectangle. Now we have length and breadth. The length is always the longest side of the rectangle. So. That's uh, something, that's a convention that you can trust there. And the breadth is the shorter side. So the area for a rectangle is length times breadth. Now if we call the length L and the breadth B, in the, short, the shortened version of the formula for the area of a rectangle is A equals L times B or A equals LB. So if we had numbers, 3 metres and 8 metres, all we have to do for the area is put the length, 8 metres, times uh, 3 for the breadth and 24 is our number answer. Now remember for area we're looking to use square units so instead of meters we have meters squared, 24 meters squared. Okay so it's a formula based question so we put the formula on the first line we substitute substituted all the numbers into uh, the formula from the question. We cal calculated our answer and we thought uh, nice and carefully about the units we used. These were both uh, area questions so they, they had square units. So there's our choices for the units there. We were looking at area so we used square units for our answers. And the area of a square we found out was uh, the uh, side length squared or A equals S squared and the formula for the area of a rectangle was length times breadth A equals L times B. So pretty straightforward formulas um, and then we once we subbed the numbers in we were uh, careful with our units and uh, if we set it out nicely uh, the formula does most of the work for us. So careful with your setting out, we'll look at some other shapes as we go but that's how we find areas of squares and rectangles. For all your mathematical needs, uh, peterblakemaths.com. Plenty of great videos there. See you next time.